Hello everyone, Tim here. Welcome back to the channel for what should be a pretty cool haul. This is a big haul video, but if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Tim and my channel is all about movies and movie related things. My different hobbies I, I like other than collecting movies. It's also posters, vinyl, collectibles, things like that. I show a lot of different stuff. But anyways, let's dive into this haul. It's quite a bit. Before I do, I should mention, I've decided I want to do weekly videos for hauls because sometimes I wait like two weeks or two and a half weeks and it becomes overwhelming. So to minimize that, I'm going to do once every Thursday. Every Thursday will be a new haul, regardless of whatever I got. If I got one movie, I'll talk about the one movie. If I got a statue and a couple movies, I'll talk about that stuff. I think it'll be overall better to have a designated day to be honest but this one is big uh if i do have specific like special hauls i'll also do those separate but this is a lot though like i've, I've covered all the bases here i've got movies statues a hoodie a model uh posters vinyl like literally just i covered the gambit i've got it all in this video so if you like all that stuff stick around as i normally do i'm gonna end on the movies i like ending on what I enjoy the most, but we'll start this off with collectibles and specifically it starts us off with Spirit Halloween, which I love going there. Not quite as much as uh, Derek, the convicted cinephile, but I do really enjoy Spirit Halloween. So Spirit Halloween, as we all know, it dived in really deep into Killer Clowns, like way deeper than last year. They have a lot of stuff now. So being that I'm a, you know, statue type guy also, picked up what I could have of their uh, Killer Clown statue line and got not much light up. It has a light up feature, but it doesn't really do much. But I just thought it was uh, it was pretty cool and it wasn't too much. I don't remember what the price was. Maybe something like 40 for them, but uh, it's pretty cool. There we go. Get him more in line, but yeah. Yeah, he's cool, but he's not as cool as this, this was actually kind of hard to hard to find. This has a light up feature also. Uh, turn it on. Again, nothing spectacular as a light up feature, but still pretty cool. Definitely happy to have this. So Killer Clown stuff is uh, it's big right now. It's really big. Even got a snow globe. <laughs> Look at that, and. It spins, or well, he spins inside. No light up feature, but instead he just kind of rotates. So, thought it was cool also. Uh, all their prices on their stuff I thought was pretty reasonable. And then this is what I wanted the most. I picked up the Sam lamp. Look at that. It doesn't give off like a ton of light, but I like how it flickers. I just think it's a really cool really cool little statue i dig that i'm not sure where i'm putting it yet but definitely happy for this so turn the light off on that and then the last spirit halloween item might have to go backwards look at that look at that camp crystal lake sign that's awesome uh i'm not sure where on the wall yet it's going but i will make room this is just awesome so uh yeah, Spirit Halloween is is really great for, for horror fans. Because my god, do they have a lot of awesome stuff. But yeah, that's it for Spirit. I'm going to go grab some of the other collectibles. Work our way through all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm, as a collectible nerd, I'm, I'm very happy with this stuff. Sometimes it's easy to forget how much stuff you actually got until you have to move it into place for a video. <laughs> my gosh. But anyways, uh, Walmart, I grabbed this. Christine model. My favorite John Carpenter movie. Yeah, I, I like it above, you know, The Thing and Halloween and stuff. More so, it's out of nostalgia and just, I, I love this movie. But, I mean, that's not discrediting. His other movies are amazing too. But I just, this movie's so rewatchable. And I'm going to be building Christine. This is a white model, so I actually have to paint it. This is going to be uh, interesting to see how it turns out. <laughs> I, I don't know my skill level, but... I'm looking forward to that. Got a ghost face. 
little bobblehead, ghost face, got this off Hot Topic. I'm just... <laughs> Sorry if that's annoying. I just, it's kind of fun shaking ghost face. So, got that. Got a hoodie because it's coming up on that time. Amity Island. I like that. It's nice and simple. I like with uh, movie related stuff quite a bit if it, uh, well, I mean, I'm wearing something that just says the Twilight Zone, but sometimes I like ones that if you know the movie, you know what the reference is. I like stuff like that. Uh, how about, how about we stick on Killer Clowns for my one vinyl of this video, all right? That's, I don't really get a lot of, or I normally have more vinyl, but just one this time. I mean, it's a darn good one. Look at that. And there's the back. Amazing artwork. Uh, waxwork. I, I've said it before. Waxwork is great, but yellow. It's supposed to be a popcorn popcorn vinyl. And let me grab the other one, which is cotton candy. Come on, slide in there. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'll do that after the video. <laughs> I'll just show real quick. But yeah, got cotton candy and popcorn. Cool idea as the colors for the vinyl. And these do not want to slide in. Let's ignore that for, for the moment. My gosh, it's hard to put vinyl back in place like during a video. I don't know. Uh, let's see, do we go with a video game thing? Or let's go with the Harry Potter, then the video game thing. Which, this is a beast. Oh my god, I, this is heavy. This is heavy. Uh, Harry Potter Film Vault Collection. 12 books all about the movies. All, all different types of information on the movies. These, this is a cool, it's a hard box set. It's freaking heavy. Oh my god, is this heavy. But uh, Target had this on sale for 75 And my wife really wanted this. She was buying, she bought the first like three individually and that set was just cheaper than buying the rest individually so she's happy with that and a happy wife is a happy life <laughs> and then this also my wife uh Crash Bandicoot is one of her favorite games up there with Spyro so look at that this is from a company called First Four Figures look at that uh I don't I think it does light up does it oh yeah Eyes light up. That's cool. Again, this is this is hers for uh, for her collection. So, yeah, I like it. It's a uh, it's pretty cool. It was like two fifty or something like that. I dig it. So now it's time for the poster. It's the poster section of the video, and then movies come directly after this. But uh, I'm gonna be showing off. That thing right there. So let me spin the camera around and show you. Yes, so here is a true romance. This thing is gorgeous. This is by artist Matt Ryan Tobin. It's stunning. This is absolutely stunning. It's from a company called HCG Art. Last I looked, it was still available. It's, like I said, stunning. I love it. And I have three, no, four more posters to show. Next up here, we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is by artist Kevin M. Wilson. And he has actually been working his way through all of the Harry Potter movies, giving each one his own take on it. And we have all except for the very first one because we missed it and it's crazy expensive. But I dig this. Uh, it's not my favorite of the ones he's done, but we're collecting them all, so... Definitely happy to have it. Uh, I have one more of these to show up for Harry Potter one because uh, we placed it in the same order as that. So wanted to place a HCG order and not pay for, for shipping on each individual and we could just order like four. So yeah, we ordered four prints from them. As I said, four Harry Potter prints ordered. Uh, and this is the other one, Harry Potter and Half-Blood prints. Same exact artist as the last one. Again, I, I, I liked most of the other ones he's done more than these recent two. But, like I said, working on collecting them all. 
And then the last print from the HCG order that included the True Romance, these two, and it was the Psycho by artist Danny Haas. This is actually probably my favorite. I just got to get this one up on the wall. I mean, the True Romance is fantastic. I'd probably go this, the True Romance, and then these other two from that order. But I just, there's something about the styling of this. I absolutely love this. So the plan, even though I've been on a huge Buffy kick as of late, I've had that Dan Mumford Buffy up for quite a while. So it's either that's coming out or the Innkeepers is coming out. One of those two. I'm keeping Evil Dead up for now. So yeah, one of those two and this uh, Psycho will go in its place. Because I want that sucker on the wall, like, soon. And now the last print order for the last print and post well, actually not the last poster last print i should say i got one more thing to show for posters but this was ordered off a company called mad duck this is the same artist as that uh true romance up there uh it's this is matt ryan tobin and this thing is freaking haunting like the artwork is stunning this is the variant of uh 85 i believe it is uh, I preferred this this mix of blue and purple. I think this was nicer than the original or the the standard one. The variant is just this is stunning. I love it. So definitely happy to have this. And then just one more poster, but it's not a screen print. Final poster to show is this 14 by 36 creature from the Black Lagoon. This is not an original. This is a reprint. My God, I can't afford an original of this anytime soon. But this is a reprint, it's a cheapo, cheapo, cheapo reprint. Uh, paper is garbage. The print printing is fine. It's I paid fifteen for it. It's about what it's worth. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a poster snob on stuff. Uh, it's just I buy so much of this stuff that the cheaper stuff comes across cheaper. Not thrilled with it at all. Uh, I will probably replace it with something much nicer when I can because it's it's kind of garbage to be honest but uh the rest of the stuff gets a thumbs up this one and eh, creature from the black lagoon deserves better and this right here is why i need to do haul videos once a week uh because i'm gonna be showing stuff that i feel like most of youtube's already been showing their stuff for a while now and it's just because i kind of like built the stuff up but like i'm gonna be showing my warner archive order and the sale's been done for a little while now. I think it ended like the middle of August and uh, it's now September 1st and I'm going to be showing the, the haul. So, eh, I got the Stalking Moon, a patch of blue, love Captain Hepburn. So picked up, uh, she did, was it seven or eight movies with Spencer Tracy? On Moonlight Bay, love Doris Day. On Moonlight Bay, love Doris Day. <laughs> uh, 36 hours. We got an, a Lauren Bacall and Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck is, I, I love him. So, Designing Women, never seen this one. Audrey Hepburn does not have a Blu ray. So, there's a lot of Warner archives that just have DVDs. And then The Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer, Gary Grant. Again, no Blu ray, only a DVD. So that is my Warner Archive order. And there's just there's a there's a bunch of different stuff here. Alright, for my next one, why don't I do a short little bit of a rant? Because this pisses me off to no end. So I have domestic disturbance here. And maybe on video right now, this looks great, right? Uh I'm gonna right now show up close video of the case because this artwork is so horribly pixelated and crappy. I am so damn annoyed that Paramount shipped this out like this. And they've said nothing. Like, this looks like absolute garbage on the artwork. And it's not acceptable. It is not acceptable at all. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, they don't respond to shit. I mean, I, I've tagged them and I've messaged them. They don't respond to anything. So I guess they just, their Paramount is good with shipping out crap and tough deal with it, I guess. And it's not even like returning it, get a new copy. Literally all of them are like this. So 
Uh, I like that they've been putting so much stuff on Blu-ray for the first time, but, you know, fuck you, Paramount. You have QC for a reason. Ugh. That shit pisses me off. I don't understand. So we all kind of collectively let so many of these studios just keep fucking up over and over again. And I'm just as bad where I'm then still buying the stuff. But my God, some of these studios do not fucking do anything to try to fix the issue. It is so annoying. There's a few that do really good. Like Arrow is pretty damn good at, at trying to fix their issues. But my Lord, some of the, especially the big studios, they don't give a damn. They have your money. They do not care. And it's so freaking annoying. I, I it just, I love this hobby, but man, fuck you studios. It's, do better, seriously. Uh, anyways, Black Phone. This is my uh, second favorite movie of the year. Love, love, love Black Phone. Thought it was great. Going into another little, you know what, screw it. I don't care if it's a longer video. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about some of this stuff. So I love mystery left in a movie. I love using my imagination to fill in blanks. So many movies feel like they need to tell you everything. And that is so annoying. So this movie, no no spoilers, it's not spoilers, but I mean, you see in the trailer that it's like a supernatural type phone. They don't tell you how the phone works. Thank you. I don't need to know how the phone works. Not everything needs to be spoon fed to you. You don't need to know everything. It doesn't matter to the story. They don't want to tell you how the grabber came to be who he is, what his motivations are. Thank you. That does not matter at all. So many movies, they want to tell you everything. When If they're just telling you a story, like this is a movie of only a, over a, a, I don't know how many days, it's over a several days span. You don't need to know literally everything. They're telling you a story over that condensed time. You don't need to know the before, the afters, the whys. That doesn't matter to the story that they're trying to tell you. I thought the story they told here was damn good. I, I loved it. I thought the child actors were great. Ethan Hawke was great. I don't need to know the whys. I just, I get so annoyed at the amount of movies that they want to tell you every last little detail. And by the end of the movie, you're not left up to any imagination. There's no imagination. They've tied everything up in a neat little bow. Why? You, you don't need to tell us literally everything. They'll tell you details that aren't even needed to the actual story. It's just, I don't know. Again, kind of kind of ranty. And I know that's some people do like that tied up in a little bow thing. And that's fine. That ain't me. I am not that person. If you leave me mystery and intrigue in a movie, I'm very, very grateful. Because I like to kind of think about things. I don't need it all tied up in a bow. It, I, I'm more of that type person. Anyways, uh, let's go on to the Child's Plays. Child's Play Steelbook. And of course, Child's Play 2 and 3. Watched the first two. Didn't get around to the Child's Play 3 4K yet. Still sealed. Huh? But I did watch 1 and 2. I thought they looked great. I think Child's Play 2 is a damn great movie. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed both of these. Very much so. Uh, Steelbook has a slight ding. It was under the J card. I. That's another thing. I freaking hate J cards. I hate them. I wish... I actually prefer, well, even the damage has even been hit under the fucking Lionsgate slip. So I don't know what the answer is, but you can't see all the damage when you buy a steelbook. When things are covering the actual steelbook. And it's so annoying. I opened this up and it's a little ding like right up at the top, right under where the J card would come around. <sighs> I don't know. It's one of the pains, I guess, of steelbook collecting. So whatever, I guess. Oh, now I feel like I'm becoming like angry Tim right now. Jesus. Um, picked this up. I, jeez, I was going to watch it like as soon as it came in. It just didn't happen. But my friend Warren recommended Toy Soldiers like highly. I watched the trailer. It looks right up my alley. The standalone was like $22, but this double pack was like 10 So I picked up Mill Creek. Thank you. Uh. I mean, it's on one disc. Hopefully the picture is is good across both. But Mill Creek, 
doesn't get a lot of respect when they're they uh they aim for the low end and they hit it really well i mean you get movies cheap from them got this johnny mnemonic black and white uh i didn't pop it in and a couple of people i trust said it's not any better so i'll see keeping up with the indiana joneses of course uh next well uh some some mercari here mercari got this poltergeist steelbook uh thank you to jerry uh he's on instagram and youtube he gave me a heads up about this and i love this this is way nicer than the upcoming steelbook like way nicer i think so definitely happy with that killing them softly steelbook got this dirt cheap dirt dirt cheap and old boy steelbook these are all mercari these ones so always love picking up steel books picked up the red dawn steel book i loved this I, I thought it looked great uh i know other people said not as much positive things i thought it looked freaking awesome it by, by far the best it's ever looked the outside scenery looked amazing uh i only have a sound bar so it's not like what i got to test the I don't even think it has Atmos. I think that was the whole thing is it listed Atmos, but it doesn't have Atmos and it wasn't intended to have Atmos. But, but uh, I thought it looked great. So very, very happy with it. This is a freaking great movie. So pleased with that one. Uh, do the rest of this little pile. Milk Creek again. Uh, Derek, the convicted cinephile, he posted about this. Uh, this was like $10 for six Kevin Bacon movies. And hell yeah. One thing that was a little, I don't know, kind of annoys me. So it's called Six Degrees Collection. And I get what they're going for. It's Kevin Bacon, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. It, that, that's not actually how this would be structured. Like, these are all Kevin Bacon movies. Whereas, like, the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, it, it works as, like, the first degree is a Kevin Bacon movie. And then someone that directly worked with Kevin Bacon in a movie, and then someone that worked with someone that was in a Kevin Bacon movie. Like, that's how the degrees work. That's not what this actually is. But still, really cool, 10 bucks for six movies. Uh, Flatliner is so much better than the remake. It, the flat, first Flatliners is good. Uh, Trapped is good. Hollow Man, that's all. Yeah, that's a good set. That's a really good set. Fern Gully, bringing back the childhood nostalgia really happy to pick this one up for 15 bucks uh thank you shout kids which i never even noticed the shout kids line but okay uh picked up this odd couple box set this is another addition to my very small imprint collection inside you end up getting the odd couple the odd couple two and 10 episodes of the television series for the first time in hd in a nice hard box so, yeah, thank you very much. Imprint, Odd Couple is awesome. Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon were amazing together. Picked up Pact of Glory, great movie. Didn't get to the 4K yet. I hear it's great, so I'll hopefully get to the 4K shortly. <sighs> Jurassic World, uh, what well, Dominion. I was trying to, I, I was mixing it up with the last crap one. I hated this one too. Uh, God. Uh, I'm going to try the extended cut. Some people are saying it's better. I thought this movie was trash. Fucking hated it. Uh, I'm a Jurassic Park fan and sometimes the collector in us. I have... I, I just... I, I, I bought it. Uh, I'll give the extended a, a shot. Uh, I'm a steelbook horror. I think all that stuff culminated into... into I don't know. I'll give it another shot. Like I said, I, in theater, so I hated it. <laughs> There's so much to not like about this movie. Uh, I don't want to get into a big rant on this. This this movie, I hope it's better the second time around. My God, do I hope it's better the second time. Ugh. Yeah, not a fan. Uh, picked up two more Paramount Presents. So I'm, I've got most of them. I was current actually got a little behind, a couple behind so i'm like basically there uh let's see we've got fye 
Uh, these they were running a sale, plus these are already dirt cheap. So Ben is back. I was interested in this when this came out. Uh, what did I pay for? All four of these movies and something else. I think I paid $11 for all four of them. The collection. I have the collector already and needed the collection. The intro to this movie, the first, uh, what, five minutes? It's in like a dance club. Oh my God. It's freaking crazy. Uh, horror fans, like definitely check it out. I don't think the whole movie is, I guess as a whole, it's fine. Uh, if you like the collector, it's a it's a fine follow up. The first five minutes, though, holy shit! <laughs> Seriously, uh, what men want? I don't know. I, I I like the two actors. Uh, I was a big Thirty Rock fan, so I, I like Tracy Morgan. Um, I don't know. It's probably garbage, but again, it, it was two night two dollars actually, and they were running a sale. Like I said, I got everything for eleven bucks. If it sucks, so what? I paid, like, basically a rental. I don't... Whatever. When something's so cheap, it doesn't matter if you buy it because you're going to pay that much to rent it. So, whatever. And on the basis of sex, I was actually legitimately interested in almost bought this when it was new. And because it's a focus feature, this is expensive for quite a while. Uh, I didn't want to pay the $17.18, but $3.99. And again, I paid 11 for the whole group. So... It's, I'm I'm okay with just actually the collection on basis of sex and Ben is back. I would have paid the eleven. So what men want, I don't really care. It, it could be a frisbee for all I care. Like whatever. Uh, next one. This is there's an amazing guy on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna put his stuff right over here. Uh, give him a follow. Awesome guy, uh, Sebastian. He, yeah, uh, he was selling some stuff, and I bought some stuff. So, the deal initially was I bought off him this Wrath of Man from Nova Media, really nice, and this last dual steelbook, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, I, I, I loved Last Duel. I thought Last Duel was a great movie, absolutely great movie. So I was happy with these two and I didn't have the money to buy the third item I wanted and he sent it anyways. Uh, this Die Hard Steel Book. Freaking amazing. Uh, thank you so much and seriously. Uh, yeah, absolutely thrilled. He shipped super fast. Uh, yeah, great, great guy. Really happy with these. And I will end with, actually, all right, so I'll do, uh, this is Orbit DVD, which, my gosh, do they ship fast. Ooh, they ship really fast. Um, picked up Monster from Second Sight. Great, great movie. Uh, Charlize Theron, you don't see her. Like, a lot of times with actors, I feel like you see the actor more than the character, but she loses herself in this role completely. Uh, she was fantastic. This is a great movie. So very happy with that. Got this uh, great Parasite steelbook. Like my third copy of Parasite. Because this movie is freaking fantastic. Uh, yeah, very happy with that. And I picked up the Second Sight Dog Soldiers. So if I'm given a choice on Screen Factory versus Second Sight... I trust Screen or I trust Second Sight way more than Screen Factory. Uh, I feel like I've been ranting a lot on Screen Factory. Uh, <laughs> they're actually they beat Criterion in uh, Bob's Blu-ray's uh, uh, tournament he has going, and I guess either the fanboy me or whatever. I was like, oh my god, Screen Factory! Like, uh, there's so much they don't do right as a company. I don't feel. I did a whole video with him on. Uh, on, on that uh yeah so anyways i will always choose a second sight edition over screen factory always always so definitely happy to get that and then the final item uh i've never seen game of thrones not even an episode 
And I've kept hearing how amazing Game of Thrones is, and I need to check it out. So I ended up pulling the trigger on $99 for the complete series on Blue or on 4K, because that's a great price. That is a freaking awesome price. Uh, anyways, House of Dragons, because it's a prequel, we started watching it. I'm actually like really digging it two episodes in. So if I'm liking House of Dragons, I should like Game of Thrones. So I'm even more happy I did the purchase now. Uh, that's everything. I feel like that's enough. Uh, I feel like this video is like 30 minutes long. Uh, anyways, uh, I don't really got too much else to say. Uh, if this type of stuff interests you and you made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I don't really got too much else to say. Uh, hit me on, up on Instagram if you want. Uh, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.